Hey, it's Allie from Creative Kin, and welcome back to the 12 Days of Christmas Ornaments. Today I'm going to show you how to make this clothespin ornament. Here's what you need. A slotted clothespin, a skewer, a fabric scrap, a small eye hook, scissors, ribbon, a paintbrush, paint, and a hot glue gun. Let's get started. So the first step is to cut your skewer into about one inch pieces. You need two for our arms. And skewers are pretty hard to cut through, but if you just twist your skewer as you make little cuts, you'll get it. Now it's time to paint some clothes on our clothespin. So I'm gonna squirt some paint into my little tray. So take your paintbrush and decide whatever color you want to use as your shirt and paint the top half of your clothespin. Now let's paint our sleeves. These one inch pieces are going to be our arms. Leave just a little bit bare at the end so that your little person has hands. Next, pick a color that will be your pants and paint the bottom half of your clothespin. When you're finished painting your pants, just make sure that the line between the shirt and the pants is smooth. Once your paint is dry, attach your arms with hot glue. Use as little hot glue as you possibly can just to make sure there's no spillage. Next, let's attach our eye hook. Next, I'm going to paint some hair and a face. So for the eyes and smile, the best tool I've found is the pointy end of our skewer. So dip it in some paint and dot on some eyes. And now for my favorite part, adding the scarf. So take your fabric scrap and cut it into a long piece that's about half an inch thick. I ended up with about six inches. That works great. We're going to use the scarf to hide the fact that these arms are separate pieces. So place a dot of hot glue at one end of your scarf and attach it to the back of your clothespin. And then just wrap it around your person. and finish it off with a dot of hot glue. I'm leaving myself about an inch at the end. I'm gonna bunch it together and squish it into the hot glue. So we've got a cute little end that looks like a scarf. So our last step is to add our top loop. Trim yourself some ribbon. Thread it through the top loop. And tie it off at the top. And there you have it, a clothespin ornament. We want to see your clothespin people, so make sure to tweet us a picture at CreativeKinBlog so we can see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another of the 12 days of Christmas ornaments with Creative Kin. Now go get crafty.